So let's dive right into this concept of darkness. Would you define that? In a simple way, shadow is just that part of us that is unconscious. And it's also the space where, as you mentioned at the beginning, the thing don't necessarily love about ourselves dwell there so you know anytime we react from anger we're coming from shadow it's essentially darkness and we are taught in our culture for the most part to want to push that away to assume all of that is bad that we'd rather not feel any of that we'd rather not even acknowledge we have that and so you know um, my perspective is that there's a mother Teresa and a Hitler in all of us mm. The more we refuse to look at Hitler, at the darkness, the more it has kind of ownership and power over us. So Hitler is a pretty extreme example. That's a great example. And so someone discovers, you know, through plant medicine, through therapy, through life, that they, they discover this part of themselves, their, their own Hitler, the part of themselves that they are just not going to accept no matter fucking what. So then what do you do? Well, the most tangible way I know to do that is to ask them to first look at the results in their lives for the, the choice of resistance. So if we have resistance to our anger and we push it down, it's going to show up in our lives somewhere, whether it's in our relationships, our relationship with ourselves, our job, our relationship with our kids, somewhere, if not everywhere in the results in our lives, that resistance to shadow is causing conflict, is not creating the life that we want. Mm. So the first thing is to ask somebody, are you happy and content with the results that you're creating with this kind of denial of shadow? And if they're honest, the answer is always no. So the next step is, and it's very individual to each of us, but mm. it's time to actually feel that energy. So let's use anger as an example. Most of us do one or two things with that shadow energy. We either stuff it down and resist it, or we vent, we blow up. And both of those are, are two sides of the same coin. Venting is not an honest feeling of it because it's blaming somebody else, it's victim consciousness, it's defensiveness, it's actually more shadow energy. Whereas you flip that and you express it, you receive it and feel it and express it, that doesn't come across as defensive or accusatory. You just say, I feel angry, I'm feeling this. And you open yourself up to the opportunity to feel and process it. And then it doesn't get stuck. Then it's allowed to move our flaws and make them part of the toolkit of our empowerment and the things that make us really strong. But it's feeling. Awesome.